Hello, everybody. Welcome to Living Marvelously. Today, I just want to share a quick post I wrote about loving who you are right now. At this time of the year, when everyone is, you know, making resolutions and trying to figure out what they need to change about themselves, I wrote this post because what if you just stopped doing that? What if you stopped thinking about what you could be and just be, just be who you are today? So again, welcome to Living Marvelously. And let me share this post that I wrote. Whether it's the new year, your birthday, a new school year, or any other time you feel like you need a fresh start, you probably start to think about all the things you want to change, all of the ways you can make your life better, all of the things that aren't working in your life, and you set some goals to find success. But what if you started loving who you are right now, appreciating all of the things that are going right in your life? And living in the moment instead of continually striving for something better. We all do it. I know I do it too. But let's just take a pause today and think about something different. For many years, I have set goals to lose weight, to make more money, exercise more, eat better, etc. You know, the usual goals that you, you think you have to do to fit in or to please others. But when you have to set the same goals year after year, you have to wonder if that is really what you want. If you're not making it happen, how motivated are you? And is it really something you're striving for? So it's time to take a step back from the future and learn to love who you are right now. So let's start by reflecting on your journey. I talk to a lot of women in midlife, and we often face challenges regarding self-image and societal expectations. But if you set those aside and remember all of the times that you have been happy in life, did some of those things you worry about really matter? And do you think anyone else really cares how much money you make or how much you weigh when you smile at them and you make them happy? Let's next, let's rediscover some inner strength. Again, in midlife, it's a period of rediscovery. And actually, in any phase of life, you're always rediscovering and rethinking about what you're doing and what you, what you want to do. And it's a chance to reconnect with your inner strength. So think back to times in your life when you have overcome obstacles. Reflect on the strength you exhibited during those times. When you remember how strong you have been, that can help you remember how strong you are now. And if you've gotten yourself through tough times before, you can do it again. Let go of unrealistic expectations. So let's address some of those societal pressures and unrealistic expectations that, that really weigh heavily on women of all ages. It's time to release the need for perfection and embrace your authentic self. The phrase, you want the things you don't have is really important to remember because when you look at somebody and you compare yourself to them, you think that that you need to change to be like them because you think they have everything, you know, they're perfect. They have what you want. But if you could ask that other person, if they are happy, they would probably tell you something they don't like about themselves. And they'll probably tell you that they'd rather have something that you have. So everyone is supposed to be different and there is no one perfect way to be. So loving who you are right now, because that is who you are supposed to be. I found this quote when I was writing my post, it's by Alan Cohen. And it says, to love yourself right now, just as you are, is to give yourself heaven. Don't wait until you die. If you wait, you die now. If you love, you live now. So let's love ourselves and start living now. Stop waiting for you to be perfect in order to do some of the things that you want to do. Just go do them. Another thing we can do is celebrate our achievements. No matter how small, every achievement deserves celebration. So take a moment to bask in the glow of your accomplishments and remember how you feel. So you achieved your success today exactly as you are. You weren't lighter. You weren't wealthier. You didn't, maybe didn't have the love of your life and you didn't need to change. 
So write your achievements down and look back at them often. Those small victories add up to big victories. And always cultivate self-love practices in your life. And start your journey of self-discovery with mindful exercises that ground you in the present moment. I was just doing some writing this morning. I just, every morning, I'll, I try to every morning sit down and just write what comes to my mind. And one of the things that came to my mind this morning was how life is pretty simple. All you need to do is pause, breathe, and, and then just release what it comes up right? Whatever intuition, whatever downloaded into your mind when you're in that pause and when you're in that breath and then go follow what makes you happy. <laughs> Embrace positive affirmations that nurture your soul and uplift your spirits. And I have many affirmations on my website at livingmarvelously.com that you can go and find. Set boundaries for things you will no longer tolerate in your life. That's a big one. Why are you tolerating some things that are making you unhappy? Practice gratitude. Remember and appreciate all that you have right now. It's, again, another simple practice that is maybe overused, but it's because it is so effective. Just write down what you are grateful for. Forgive and release yourself from negative emotions that linger. Forgiveness is huge. When you can forgive, you can really open up some space in your life to find more joy. I have a, another post on my website called Ways to Practice Self-Love, Simple Techniques for Happier You, and I'll link it below. When you start loving yourself as you are right now, things will start changing for the better. You'll be in a positive state of mind, and you will be sending out a high-frequency vibration into the universe, which can only attract high-frequency vibrations back to you. So feeling good and loving yourself attracts more opportunities to feel good and love yourself. And then on the contrary, when you are consistently thinking you need to change, you are sending that energy out and you will get that same energy back. Telling yourself you are not good enough will tell the universe that this is what you want. Remember, the universe does not judge. It just brings you what you ask for. So remember to ask for things that you truly want. I choose to feel good now, to live a marvelous, joyful life, and to pay attention to what other beautiful things come my way. Are you ready to change your perspective and love who you are right now? Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to share more on this channel, so help me out. Thank you so much, and a Happy New Year.